Hello world, PDR coming at you here with a, another Tesla. This one's a 2017 Model 3. Real nice car for a real nice guy. And it's got a ding on the hood. Now it, it looks like it has, if you look deep into that ding, it looks like it has a little scratch, but it's a surface scratch. And it's kind of risky for me to pull glue, but I've opened this thing up and it is a double skin brace all the way up to about here. I really don't want to slide a sneaky all the way back in there and risk uh, being that it's aluminum. I don't really want to slide a tool back in there. We're going to use the glue pulling method. And I think first off, I'm going to start with a, I was going to say a little tiny tab, but I'm not. I'm going to start with just this tab right here with only a little bit of glue on it. And we will see what we get out of just the center of that. Put that there. Give it a nice push. And it's fairly cold out, guys. It's, uh, I'd say it's about 55 to 60 degrees out. Car's in a garage, but obviously the door's open. So um, I'm going to pull pretty quick on that one. And I would love to say, what if that was a one, one puller, right? But no, we've still got a little dent there. A lot of it came up, actually. A lot of that dent came up. We're gonna go for another couple little pulls with this. And like I say, I'm I'm more worried about the paint breaking than anything else. So I'm gonna just be really careful with it. Pull it pretty quick. I want the glue to stay on the car. Like that. So that when I pull it off, I'm just pulling off the glue with that. And now I might not be able to get that last little bit out, but uh, being the super perfectionist that I try to be, I might have to get in there with a tool. This is third pull. I mean, you guys are seeing everything on this one. So get right in on it. Make sure my feet are nice and clean. Ah, uh, slowly. There we go. Nice little snap. As I say slowly, I pull quickly. Funny. No, that's moving it. I mean, a lot of it is being moved. Um, I think I'm just going to go with the patience route and keep on trying. Go with one more little pull here. See if I can get the center of that up. Um, if you notice, I'm not waiting too long for this glue to cool either because it is so cold out. Give it a nice pop. Just a teeny bit of ISO. That is a little bit moving. Just got a little bit more glue there. Slowly but slowly. Let's see if we can get a little tiny piece of glue in that center. This is a Keiko Clear tab we're using. A little lifter. I don't want to use the uh, slide hammer on this one when I don't have to. Plus, this um, lifter holds the area down while it's pulling it up around it. So it's kind of what you want for the aluminum. A lot of that dent has come out, guys. Um, so I think what we are going to do on this one is I'm going to, uh, I'm going to get my tool in here and maybe take out that last little bit with my tool. Uh, I might make a couple more pulls with the glue. It seems like it's trying, but it's just not getting there. One more here real quick. But I think what we're going to do is open up this hood and get my sneaky sneaky in there and uh, a long skinny tool. And I'll show you the access that I have on the inside and the access that I basically don't have because um, it's kind of tight in there. And we will try to get this last little bit of this dent out. Um, I don't know. I mean, I kind of want to tap it down into a more wider dent here and do another couple pulls before I do that. And then what I'll do is if I got a setup for prop the hood open and get my tool in there and have the light in a different or a little bit lower like this, then 
I will uh, come back to you guys and show you what we got in just a bit. If you look underneath this hood, it goes all the way up here. I tried accessing it from right here, getting a skinny up there, could not. Because of the curvature and the angle of the hole, didn't want to bend any of this metal. Didn't really want to slide a tool all the way in here because of these welds. If you see, there's some, there's some inner bracing in here. Um, so we got her down to as far as we could with the glue pulling system. I'd say we brought it to half. I mean, we got it in, in half. Let me drop this hood. Uh, how do you drop a Tesla hood? Like that. Um, and uh, we got it as much as we could with the glue pulling system. Um, the nice thing is that we didn't, you know, break any of that paint off. Uh, it does look like it does have a little fracture in the clear coat. I got to that point that it wasn't lifting and it felt like it was wanting to pull the paint more than the metal. So I was like, eh, sketchy, let's stop. But here's the other dent that I was going to talk to you about and show you and do right here. We've got it mm, pretty nice and warm. It's a little door ding, a little body line crease on the edge of the, the bend there. And uh, I think before I start pushing on it, I've got Bertha in the door, in the grommet here. And I've got uh, my board and my heat on it. And before I do any pushing, I just wanna, I just wanna hit right about there, guys. Let me move my hat around for you. And uh, we'll call this video a double denter. But I just wanna break this brow down a little tiny bit. Just that much, not, not even much more than that. And I will say, I do appreciate everybody that clicked on this video. Um, I really do. If you guys want to uh, hit that subscribe button, um, feel free. We sure appreciate it. it. We love to see when the community grows and people are all having fun and learning stuff. Okay, so let me carefully climb into this car and find my tool, which looks like it's down about right here. Get up on into that dent. And I'm using the fog. I don't know if you guys are using the lines or not, but I'm going to come right into the center and basically just baby that thing out. Um, got my tri-bend Bertha on it. And the angle isn't perfect. So maybe I need to move the board a little, but now I've got a really good angle on the back side of that. And so I'm going to work the back side of it and come towards me just right on that body line. Some real slow pushes, guys. Yeah, I showed the, uh, the one on the hood to the customer. He's happy with it. He's happy that it came out the way it did, actually, a lot, a lot more than it was. Um, but I'm such a perfectionist, I'll never be happy with it. So it's just one of those things. And when I'm down here on the ground, I got the right angle, but I don't have the right push. So now I get up here and I have a lot more leverage. I've got my knee into my arm that's stabilizing Bertha and holding it. And now I'm just right there. I don't know if it's going to get hard for you guys to see or not. Come in a little bit more with the board. Gives me a little bit more angle. And I think I'm going to go come up to that top side and start working the top a little bit. If you see where I'm at there. Right on the top edge. And I have... Uh, Roll down the window on this car. It doesn't roll down too far. It does give me an angle, but I figured pushing against a piece of glass or pushing against a piece of metal, I'd rather push against a piece of metal. Uh, not gonna break it. And now let's move forward a little bit, get right back into that area. This one's kind of intricate, guys. It is a high level difficulty dent, but I'm trying to just make it look easy. Take my time and just real slow pushes. We're getting to that point that it's getting hard to see. 
and I want to get a little bit more angle on it. And if you notice what I'm doing here, I'm wiping off the car a little bit before I move my board because I only want to put my board on a clean spot. Obviously for better grip, but I don't want to put my board on a dirty spot and have it make a make a mark or a little ring of dirt. Ow. That's hot. And now I'm seeing just that last little bit, guys. So let me just dial right in and get, oh, pushing the button too on the seat. I'm just gonna dial right in and get the rest of this out. The heat is kind of a must on a body line dent on a red car like this one. Um, and I'd say we're at the 90% mark, but I'm going to get it as far as I can. So this last little bit of low here might actually take me five or ten minutes. So I don't know if we're going to stay in it the whole time. I'm getting pretty close here. But I do want to just really go into Zen mode and take my time and get the last bits out. Uh, very, very nicely. Because I see there's just a tiny bit of body line crease right there. Might even want to get back on it with a little bit of this tap. There we go. That straightens it out a lot. And then I think what we're gonna do, cause we're just gonna check the battery time on this one. We'll come back to you guys and show you the end clean result in just a bit. Hey guys, we only got about 1% left on the battery. We wanna show you what the end result was on that one. Came out pretty nice. Tiny little scratch, not a scratch, but a scuff in the paint. Um, showed it to the customer. They're super happy with it. Uh, other than that, it just, you know, came out the way we wanted it to. I would say to that 95 to 99% mark. Um, didn't want to make that last little push in the center because I didn't want to risk cracking the rest of that crack open or breaking that paint open. But I uh, hope you guys like what you saw here. If you did, hit us up with a like, share us on social medias and all that good stuff. Other than that, I'll say the thing, PDR, and I'm out. Peace.